beautiful new floor plan to show you in the Pasadena lineup. This is the 2025 Pasadena 38 XL. Hi, it's Steve from Thor Motor Coach. Four Thor features you are going to love about the 38 XL. Number one, this is the Freightliner S2 RV chassis. It is powerful, it's easy to drive, and the dash has a nice update to it. We'll walk you around that. Number two, because this is an S2 RV with the Atlas Foundation, you are gonna get a crazy amount of exterior storage. So think about what you wanna bring with you because you are going to be able to pack it into one of these many, many bays. Number three, on a bright sunny day like this, you will be glad you've optioned in the Solar Panel Plus package. How does 500 watts of solar sound? You can get it on the 38XL. And number four, I saved the best for last, this new floor plan is incredible. We're talking heated massaging theater seats, bunks that convert into a closet. It's a bath and a half. It has everything you could need for exciting getaways or full timing. So let's head inside and look around the 2025 38XL. I'm just gonna kick back in these theater seats here. I'm gonna relax and I'll lay right. You look around, a few specs you're gonna wanna know. First, you're gonna have seat belts for eight in here, sleeping for six or seven, depending if you get the theater seats or if you want the sofa. So first up, let's talk about our seating. You have a dinette and you have these, oh, so nice theater seats. Look at this. They're heated, they're massaging, the reclining, so you can just lean back, put your feet out. And again, you can get a sofa if you need, but this is the spot for watching that smart TV. The 38XL has the WineGuard Connect 5G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender on board. So that means no matter where you happen to roam, you can set up your own 5G network. Works with all of your favorite carriers. You can tap into nearby Wi-Fi signals. It's a great feature to have on board, so watch all of the TVs. Yep, you got one outside, you got one in the bedroom. And when you're on the go, all the passengers can watch TV using that 1800 watt inverter. You're gonna love the versatility of the dinette. This is your do everything location for meals, maybe use it as an office. There's wireless charging built in, there's storage underneath. There are two child safety tethers built in, seat belts for the ride, and it makes into a bed. But if you want the best sleeping up front, this is it right here. The over the cab bunk, it's massive up here. It's like its own room, 800 pound capacity, and you can completely black it out up here. All you have to do is close this powered sky view shade, which you can control right here from Rapid Camp Plus. Gonna give you a real quick rundown here from the home screen. We're talking quick access to lights, your tank levels, the thermostat, battery levels, generator, and solar. On that solar, 100 watts is gonna come standard, but the Solar Panel Plus pack tosses on another 400 watts, so you're gonna have a total of 500 watts of solar on board. Next button down, you can dial in the settings for the Auto Gen Start 8,000 watt diesel generator on board your 38XL. Next button down, which is the light bulb, gives you specific light control for all the lights inside and outside your Pasadena. Climate button is your HVAC. Now the 38XL has two 15,000 BTU ACs on board. The front unit also has a heat pump for you, so that's nice. Then we're gonna get to our vents and fans. You're gonna have a vent in the kitchen, in the mid bath, and one in the rear bath. Next on the list are slides and awnings. You can extend or retract them all from here, or you can do it from the app. Yep, you got Vega Touch Eclipse on board, so you can control everything we just went over from anywhere in the US, Canada, or Mexico. So let's turn on all the lights and check out this kitchen. Large kitchen over here on the campsite, everything you need from a massive residential refrigerator. We have solid surface countertops, nice pull down sprayer on that sink, pop up outlet. And we're gonna get over to our cooking options. Best of both worlds here. You have a single burner electric induction cooktop as well as two gas burners. Then you have a convection microwave. So much storage in this 38XL. We're using this side for dishes, this side for pantry, lots of cabinets and drawers down below. And then check out this. Yep, that is a full size coffee maker. We have a blender in there, popcorn maker, and a little adult beverages when you wanna unwind 
and kicked back by the electric fireplace. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Bath and a half on the 38XL. This is the midship bath of everything you need. You have a toilet, a sink, lots of counter space, storage down below, and a very large medicine cabinet right up here. 38XL is a bunkhouse. You can sleep two right in here, but if you don't need the sleeping space, check this out. Quick change artist here, look at that. You just flip up the top and now you have a massive, massive wardrobe. All the closet space you could need. If you're thinking of full timing, the 38XL is gonna set you up right and send you home with a smile. A few steps back and into the bedroom, a very comfortable king size tilt of view bed. Notice we have storage up above and right across. Look at this, all kinds of storage. A massive closet back here. You have a smart TV as well. And when you open the doors, look at this, lots of hanging space. You even have a stackable washer and dryer. Last stop while we're in the back of the 38XL, into the bathroom. Look at all the room you have in the medicine cabinet up here. You have your sink, lots of great counter space. Straight across, we have our fiberglass shower surround, skylight up above, a sliding glass door. Great bath setup in the 38XL. Oh, that was nice, but I guess I need to get up and show you around the updated cockpit. I love driving these Super Cs. So let's settle into the driver's seat of this S2 RV chassis. Air adjustable seats, these are so nice. You can dial in the perfect ride. You can spend hours sitting in here. Love it. Then you fire up this Cummins 6.7 liter ISB XT under the hood. Great driving machine. You're gonna have your six speed transmission right here. Air ride suspension, 55 degree wheel cut. Oh, it handles like a dream. Gonna give you a quick spin through the dash. Everything you need to know, this is all updated. A nice look from Freightliner. Starting with this nice mix of analog and digital gauges here on the dash. Couple of screens to go through. You have your trip meters. You have your digital speedometer, outside temperature, what gear you're in. Then over here, your diesel particulate filter, some diagnostics you can go through, such as your oil life, your filter status, transmission. So check everything out right there. And then over here, settings for your dash brightness, lighting, however you wanna dial that in, make that work for you. Over here, controls for the heat and remote mirrors, the locks and the windows. Headlights are here. Windshield wipers right over on your left side. On your right side, your gear shift. If you'd like to shift manually, you can do that as well. Also, your diesel exhaust brake, you set that right through there. Buttons on the steering wheel. We just went through here. This pad controls the dash here, but plus and minus, that's going to be volume. Buttons on the right side, Bluetooth phone calls, cruise control, and you have your highway lights right there to give everybody a quick flash, let them know you're in a 38XL and I am coming up fast. New switches down here to go through hazard lights, dome light. This is for the lighting in your footwell. Traction control is right here. Freightliner says leave this on. Then down below, this is your high idle button. Press that and then that kicks up the RPMs when you are sitting at an idle. Now this is unit one of one. I know it says engine PTO right now. Freightliner is gonna change that to say high idle for us. So that's your high idle switch. One touch leveling jacks are right here. What's nice about this. There is an app that goes along with this, works with Apple and Android, download the app, and then you can control your jacks from inside or outside, which is great when you're setting up at an uneven camp and you wanna be out there and manually set them, download the app. HVAC controls are down here. Emergency start button is here. You have some cup holders down there for nice beverages and a nice radio system for you. So let's go through this infotainment center. Everything you need is here. Your radio, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth, wireless, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. You can dial in a couple of settings here. You can customize the display, the wallpaper, whatever it is you need, make it look as cool as you want it to. And then you go into apps and that pulls up everything where you can pull up your rear camera. That's the other thing I wanna mention is you have this nice rear camera, but you also have cameras connected to the directional. So when you turn on left or right, 
the cameras below and we'll show you where they are when we go outside, give you a nice clear image of what is behind you or to the left or to the right. And when you are done, it will automatically kick right back to the home screen. Devices are where you can pair up a phone or unpair a phone. So works with whatever navigation system you want because you have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So download the RV specific navigation of your choice and then that will be connected right there. You can plug the phone in right there through the USB-C. I also have a couple of 12 volts right over here. So the way this is set up, you're gonna get a nice ride to whatever RV resort you wanna set up at. And when you set up fast, easy, and great for relaxing. So I'll meet you up front and we will walk around the 38XL. One of the features I love about the S2 RV chassis is just how easy it is to check on your fluid levels, right? You would think something of this size would be impossible to work on. These latches work like they do on a Jeep, just kind of and away you go. And then you grab the handle and you pull it up and look at this complete access to your engine. So, you know, you can check your fluids, whatever you need to do, easy for maintenance. Thank you, Freightliner. We love that about the S2 RV. As we walk down, love the fact that you have these nice entry steps, nice solid to get in. You have these mirrors that are huge and easily adjustable, give you a nice clear view down the side. And in the event something is in your blind spot, there is the camera that will go on with your directional. Look up top, see that two awnings, two awnings for relaxing. You have an awning over the door and then you have an awning all along the side there. So that's great. You can set that up with Rapid Cam Plus, one touch. Out the awning goes, there are wind sensors on it as well. So in inclement weather, a gust picks up, that awning will automatically go in. So you have the nice awnings there and you think, okay, great, the awnings are out, but what am I gonna set under it? Well, let's start opening some bays because you have a lot of storage on here. 154 cubic feet of storage. We'll start with this bay right here. Your batteries are in here as well as the hose for your air chuck right there. So that's a great feature to have. Let's open another bay. 7,447 pounds on your occupant and cargo carrying capacity. A little pass through in here. Nice, durable rotocast material. So it's not gonna mildew. It's not going to get moldy. It's not gonna stink, easy to wash out. Pet tie down right here. If you travel with your pet, you can run the leash right from here, down through here and then out. And everybody stays at camp in that shade. So maybe you're throwing the camping chairs in here and you're like, you know what? I want to watch a little TV. Let's binge watch something. So many things to choose from. Choose your favorite show. You now have your TV right here. You have a sound bar. So everything you need for entertaining. Great look, by the way. This is called Ventura Highway. And maybe, maybe now the song from America stuck in your head. That's all right. You can, you can sing it along right there with your sound bar. So this is a full body paint. This has the Stealth Edition. Blackout package from the blacked out wheels to the blacked out logos. Awesome look on your 38XL. Down here, this is your fresh water tank, 100 gallons right here. And when you need to drain it, so convenient. The drain valve is right there. Frameless windows. Another nice storage bay for you there, I'm telling you. So much storage on here. Load up whatever you need. We get to here. This is going to be your propane tank. You're going to want that filled in on for your hot water, for your heat, and for the exterior propane connection. So your grill is in here. You pull it out. You set it up. Your griddle, whatever you prefer to cook on, plugs right into there. And now you are doing some outdoor barbecue, having a great time, just enjoying life in your 38XL. We're on back, couple of things I wanna talk about. Notice this blacked out Atlas Foundation. Always travel in luxury and style. The Atlas Foundation is upfitted by Moride. They are the industry leaders when it comes to upfitting chassis. And so what we have them do, our engineers, their engineers get together and create a specific Atlas Foundation for the 38XL. You're gonna have a strong square house, massive storage out there. It's going to help improve your ride. It's just a great addition 
to your 38 XL. Last thing I wanna talk about while we're back here, look at this, true 15,000 pound hitch. So that means you can just tow and go. Quick spin of the business end. Remember you have two black and two gray tanks on here. You have the bath and a half, so you have your connections here. 40 gallon black, 40 gallon gray. Hook up your sewer hose and go. It's real easy to remember on this. You have 100 gallons of fresh water, 100 gallons of diesel fuel, and then on your black and gray tanks, 40 black, 40 gray for the rear and for the front. Just throw those facts in your noggin and away you go. 8,000 watt diesel generator runs right off the tank. Again, you can control that with Rapid Camp Plus and you can drive with your ACs on. Fire up the generator, turn on those roof ACs, and if you have every seat in the house full, they're gonna wanna stay cool. So run that generator and keep the ACs on. Then when you get to camp, you can plug in 50 amp shore power cord. This is on a power reel, so that's real nice. You can just press the button, connect, and then when you're done, reel her right back in, because as you know, those 50 ampers, they have some heft to them. Right here, this is going to be our main wet bay. We have whole home filtration, exterior shower with hot and cold, low point drains, and I love this Nautilus system. This is by far the easiest wet bay to use because all you have to do is follow the diagram. Right now, we're dry camping. Now we're filling our tank, now we're sanitizing. This is our tank flush. Then you can connect your city water here or if you're sanitizing or winterizing goes here. So real easy to use. Just follow the directions. It's never gonna steer you wrong. Couple more bays to open for you. Large bay here. Again, this is the one with some pass-through. Load up all your gear in there. And you notice above this wall slide here, it looks like an awning. And it would be nice if there was an awning on this side, but that's actually a slide topper. So when you have those slides out, it's gonna keep that sky garbage from getting in top of the slide and then gumming up the works every time you put that slide in or out. All that sky garbage will just roll sticks and leaves, roll right off the top. Another large storage bay, that's what I love about this. That's why it's one of my four, four features is the storage because there's so much room to load up all your gear in here. But if you're gonna full time, great rig to do it. And then we have another bay right there to load up whatever you need. And then we are right back to the front. Diesel exhaust fluid goes right here. This is for your block heater. So that's where you're gonna plug in for your block heater. One more switch I wanna show you inside, right behind the driver's seat. This is your chassis battery disconnect. So make sure that is turned on when you are ready to roll and then you can hit the power off button when you don't need it. And that takes us right back to the front of this gorgeous Pasadena 38XL. Brand new floor plan in the Pasadena lineup. I know you want to see more. So why not build your own right now at ThorMotorCoach.com.